Right then, this is Hutton. I've decided it's only 20 to 5. I've decided to explore this. I'm just hoping it's not going to take me into a field of cows um, or horses because the bus is due in 20 minutes time down in the village. But I thought, well, it's early, it's very hot, it's going to be hotter tomorrow. I'll go down this path and see what happens. I've still got time to backtrack if I want. But i got to follow this path. Now, it doesn't help if it branches off and it doesn't tell you which way to go. Okay, so does it go straight on, or do I have to get into a field? There's the Hutton Woods, all that. It's a pity there must be a way to go through those woods, I would have thought. Yeah, straight down here, look by the look of it. What's that say? Fanny Paddock. <laughs> Retired. Goodbye, tension. Hello, pension. I can't see. It says shut this gate. It's all locked up, isn't it? I would have thought I've got to go down here. But like I said, I don't know if I've got to walk through a field of cows or anything. Yeah, I've got no idea. It was a lovely sunny day. I've put my hat on now to protect me head. And I could have easily gone down and waited for the bus. But I'm going to have probably a mixture of walks tomorrow. It's going to be hotter than now. So basically I'll be... It's probably about 27 degrees at the moment. And I've been walking for six and a half hours. In the shade a lot of it. But I've got no idea where this is taking me. So there's Western over there. There's the road that my bus will go along. It'll go round Hutton and then come back and go back that way. But I've, I've wanted to know where this I like knowing where things go. So I just don't fancy having to go through cows, but I can see there's bicycle tracks here, so that's hopeful. Oh, thank God it's hot. Let's just take that off again now for a minute. So we're still exploring, folks. This is what happens when you retire. You've got this, and when you, when your kids have all grown up, if you're not been made to feel you've got to care for grandchildren, there's a lot of women, especially, they never had any time for themselves, and they're looked down upon. If they do want time for themselves, they're looked down as being selfish. When they've actually devoted themselves to their own children. Now, if I've never been like that, I said no. I always did all the food, washed them, clothed them, did all the usual stuff, but I still had time to go running and swimming, and I included them in that a lot. But I've got no idea what's going to happen when I get down here, by the way. This man told me I could come down here, so I'm believing him. On again. <sighs> lots and lots of horses. A donkey.
All right, so this is new, folks. That's why I'm videoing it, even if it might be boring. It's for posterity, because you never know. This lane could disappear one day or turn into a road, for example. If they decide to build in there, this could be a road one day. This could be a road close to that wood. You never know. You never know. Lots of little lanes have disappeared over time. People have disappeared. People have been... Big skyscrapers have been built on people's graves. It is very hot. It is very hot. I expect to get a lot of people out here August picking the blackberries. Nice house up there, look, in the middle of nowhere. I'm really a person that would love something like that. Uh, I did have my own house once. Uh, anyway, that's another story. That's another story. I talk about things like that in my reflective videos, which don't get shared. I rarely share anymore a lot of that I used to but I don't anymore I, I, I save them and I might share them one day 50 years I won't be here by then will I it tells a story because of what it is I'd love to have known what say my grandparents grandparents great 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 what they were up to and if you haven't got any diaries or anything like that, personal stuff, we'll never know what they were going through or what they enjoyed or apart from when they used to write letters if they could write and those letters were kept. People of importance of course have often had stuff kept, archived, stored. God, this is lovely isn't it? I'll be glad to get in out of the sun now. This is the old, this is the problem whenever you go for a walk and you go back to Weston. What happens wherever direction you come from at the end of the day, you've got the sun right in front of you. Beating down on your brain. Loads of those butterflies following me. Hello, meadow butterflies. Look at them all. Hello, dancing around me. I wonder what that is up there. If it's a tennis court or something. I don't know what that is. Could be it's got lights. It's a big wood. I bet you can walk in that wood. I bet you anything you can get in there. I got a feeling I nearly got in there once when I was exploring the golf course area at the top. But I'd never returned. Right, let's have a look where we are now then. Let's get some bearings. There'll be the other side of the hedge there and that gate down there will be a road. You can bet your life I could pick up the bus from there if I wanted to now. Here's Weston. Probably see my bus go by in a minute that way towards Hutton. But we're committed now. We're committed to going this way. And I haven't got a clue, really, where I'm going to come out or nothing doesn't look very much used at the moment. But if you don't explore these areas, because this could be like a small walk, there's lots of little loops I can do as I lose my ability to do big hikes. Um, 
I will be able to do smaller ones. Hopefully bus out, walk back, or walk out, bus back. That's, that's what I started to do, but of course it makes you lazy. It does make you lazy, and it's not going to strengthen your muscles exactly if you keep being lazy. But then you've got to be realistic. If you're not feeling 100% but you still want to walk, it's better to do some walking than none. Let's turn back. There's Loxon Airfield over there. Haywood Village, the new village. And I've walked for miles today. One day I'll get one of those pedometers. It's what it is. It's not so much the distance. It's uh, the terrain and the weather. This might take me up into the bloody wood yet. I have no idea where it's taking me. Right. We just go through this gate and see what's happening next. Then we'll have a drink. And a sweet. Because this could, in theory, take me up in the wood. Let me just, I'm going to turn off, but I just want to just look around this corner first. Oh yeah, it's carrying on. Okay, I'm going to turn off for a minute now, everyone. Back on again. Just come around the corner there. Please keep to the footpath, private property. There's something going on. It could be something to do with water or something like that up there, couldn't it? Well, it's a mixture of sun and shade here, thank goodness. It's quite nice, isn't it, to know about this? It just brings in different loops that you can do. I mean, this is local. This isn't Banwell. Well, Banwell isn't really far, but it is when you've got to walk there and back. Which is what I've done today. We're coming out into quite a lot of sun in a minute. Quite a lot of sun, I think. Or maybe not. Oh, I don't think so, yeah. A lot of sun. And I thought I'd video a bit more so that people know that I do actually do all these walks. And some of you might not might be local in Western and never known about this. Some of you might have done it and forgotten. And those that you know it well say, oh yeah, I know that. You know, I mean, there are going to be different responses. And I'm not the BBC. It is going to be bumpy, shaky. Sorry about that. It's a record in time. It's a record in time, folks. And I'll tell you what, it's really hot. <laughs> it's really, really hot and I'm facing the sun. My, I've got chocolate in a container in my bag. <laughs> I might have a look at it in a minute, the next shady area. I might have some chocolate. I haven't had an orange yet, I've got one in my pocket. Got to remember about have orange. Got to remember about them because um, you need them for your vitamin C. Of course, at the moment I can't judge where this is coming out and how far I've got to go once I cut, once this finishes. If you see what I mean. So I can't sort of think, oh yeah, you've just got to go there and then you'll be there and then you know. When I see, if I see the hospital. I'll be able to judge from there because I've got to walk through uphill. Uh, I know there's a quicker way, but I don't know it. I don't know the way through the housing estates. I do on a bike. There is one I know if you leave Asda. But I'm over this side. I'm not on the Asda side. loads of ice creams at home. Can you come out with me? You've got to make sure you bring water and food. Because well, I don't go where there's uh, anything to eat. Oh, I'd never stop anywhere like that. I do carry some money. 
I do occasionally have an ice cream when I'm out if there's somewhere, but because of the COVID, nothing's been open, but it is now. It's rather nice this, I'm glad I'm doing it, I think, because it's an alternative for me to get to Hutton Woods. It's another way to get over here. And I do want to do that Windmill Hill again one day. Private property, please keep to the public footpath. See, when I was a kid, we were always out and playing and going places. Right, this is where we really do need to know where we're going, though. Let me have a look. Strictly private property. All right, I'm not quite sure where this is taking me. Right, turn off. <laughs> 